be run wondering what exactly has changed? What is the point of making another review? I mean, Nathan, you bashed on the Meepo board pretty hard in your last video. And that's actually true and something I want to address. I was not anticipating the fire that awaited me when I made that review, those two videos, two Meepo board videos. Tell me if you've seen these. I wasn't anticipating that at all. Got some pretty hateful comments. Got quite a few dislikes even. And so as you've probably seen by now by the title of this, I don't think that was like that. Anyways, as you've probably seen by the title of this video, I'm changing my opinion from don't get the Meepo board to get the Meepo board. The reason for that is because over the last several days since I got the battery, the amount of customer support that Kiron himself has been able to give me is incredible. I never experienced that before, and I don't know what it was, if they were just a little bit too busy, they had too many orders. I know that they were on holiday over in China for a little bit there. I knew that, but there's some sort of factor that's changed and he's gotten back to me like within 12 hours each time I've emailed him. Not only that, but since I got this battery, let me show you here, I've discovered that one of the hub motors makes a noise where the other one does not. Noise? No noise. Don't know if you can hear that. Not only that, the power button doesn't seem to be working properly. It turns on and off on its own and it seems like he's gonna cover those issues. It seems like he's actually dedicated to providing the three month warranty that was promised with the board. That's cool, that's cool. did film this portion of the video outside, but I wasn't very articulate, and for this part of the video I really need to be articulate. And that's because this part of the video specifically addresses you, the people who commented on the video, the f my first two. I know not all of you commented stupid stuff on that video. Some of you guys were helpful, some of you guys were supportive. I think all of you who were subscribed to me weren't idiots. And I am being a little harsh, it's a little unfair because as I'm going to get into later in this video, ultimately you did help change my perspective in a positive way. The reason there was a lot of hate on those first two videos is because there was reason for there to be a lot of hate. I was complaining about, I was complaining about stuff that probably shouldn't be complained about and I wasn't very clear. Here's some frequently asked hateful comments. Here's some, here's some questions that should have been asked before hateful comments were said. Nathan, did Meepo claim that the board was waterproof? Answer, yes, on their website. While this whole thing was going down, it stated it was waterproof. And yes, the owner posted a video of him riding through a massive, massive puddle. Nathan, did you put your board in a, a lake or in the sea or in your bathtub to make it that? Answer, no, I rode it through a small puddle. Like I, these are all things I went over in the original video. And so to people who just apparently didn't pay any attention and just decided to leave hateful comments and dislikes, you guys are idiots. I, I, have, I really have nothing to say to you guys. Hopefully you find this video more helpful and we can get past it. And to the people who commented things, you know, acknowledging the, the things that I stated in the video and then stating how they thought, it's a little bit squeamish of me to be complaining about these things and I should have expected it to have not been waterproof. Those people really help change my perspective and I appreciate you. I'm assuming that you guys probably also didn't leave dislikes on the videos because genuinely you're trying to help and, and you did. You changed my perspective. With what's happened now, you know, Kiron has sent me a new battery. It took a month and a half to get here, but it got here. Hold, hold on, actually, let's... <laughs> right there. Focus, come on, please. Oh, it went, God. Email from Kiron, right here. It's okay to ride motor that is making noise before the new one arrives. We were talking about sending Switch plus black motor for free. And if you need a new remote, click to pay $12. Yeah, so, and this is basically what this portion of the video is about other than a direct message to the haters. Man, I'm looking yellow right now. It seems like Kiron has made improvements from this too. I think everyone has bettered themselves 
from this experience, which is cool. You know, the haters have influenced me in a positive way. You know, my perspective has probably changed from being a little bit over here to being a little bit more what it should be. And the whole Meepo company, they've adjusted their business model to not include anything about the board being waterproof. The website explicitly states that it's not, which is good because as maybe 30 of you pointed out, how can you expect an electric longboard to be waterproof? And as far as all the shipping stuff, well, I mean, Kiron now puts something, he didn't before, at the top of his website, he explains this, that 10 days after your order is, um, you should expect us to ship. So not right when the order, it's gonna take a while. He's taking the extra steps to explain that. And so I think, I think, it's safe to say that everyone's come out of this better, which I'm really happy about. When I made those first two videos, I did not intend to hurt anyone. Um, I didn't want to take down a company, and I didn't take down a company. We, we're all better, which I'm really happy about. And by the way, yes, I am shirtless. I'm actually editing the video right now. I hope that all makes sense, and I hope I'm a little bit more clear than what I originally shot. Uh, back to the original vlog, though, I think. So the reason, yeah it is, the reason that I bring all of this up is because if I could go back in time and I could choose whether or not I was going to get this board again, you know, I could go back before I ordered the board, knowing what I know now, right now in this second, I would get the board. I just wouldn't ride it in the rain. I do think that it is fair to admit where I was wrong, and that's the shipping. He's upfront about it. He was from the beginning. I just thought it was going to be quicker. Hey. Hi. How you doing? And that's the whole point of this story. He's even corrected the things that really aren't his fault, and I was just being a little girl about it. I knew the shipping could take long. It's from freaking China, okay? And so you guys, you know, all the mean and hateful comments that you guys have said, it's that's corrected my perspective. And on his website now, at the top of his page, it says you have to wait a certain amount of time for the board to ship, and then it's going to take even longer. You won't be able to see the tracking. A lot of stuff that was already there, but it's more blatant now. And Kiron, man, you got a great business. I'm sorry for trashing, trashing the product in the beginning. And assuming that you're able to, you know, make sure the board works and make sure the hub motor is good, make sure I'm able to get in a replacement ESC or a button or whatever ends up working, man, I'm a happy camper. I'm a happy camper. So if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I try to do my best to make videos that you guys are going to like and you guys are going to appreciate. And while I kind of did fail to do that in my last two Meepo board videos, I hope I have managed to please you guys in this one. So consider subscribing, consider hitting the like button if you want, and I'll talk to you guys later. Vloggers don't really just leave their cameras. We come in and get them. Love you guys. Peace.